Let's look at something interesting. 1 to the power of infinity. What does this evaluate to? How can I calculate this? Before I do that, let's determine how I even came over here to begin with. Your answers can vary, but they wouldn't vary by too much. What function could help you come to this step right over here? Think about this. 1 plus a, where a is a constant, divided by n. n here is your variable, all to the power of n. If I were to put infinity in places of n, what would I have? 1 plus a over infinity, exponent infinity. a divided by exceedingly large number tends to zero out. You're left here with 1 to the power of infinity. So I'm looking at a good function and let y equal to that. y is equal to 1 plus a over n all to the power of n. And let's evaluate this. Get rid of this exponent by making a coefficient using your properties of logs. Natural log y is equal to n. Natural log of this 1 plus a over n. If you were to apply this boxed item here, by means of a limit. Limit as n approaches infinity, it can help us answer that question. I have to convert this 1 to the power of infinity to something easier which I can handle and that item is 0 times infinity. Think about it. If I put infinity in places of n, what do I have? I'll put infinity here. I have times, because this is a product relationship, 1 plus a over infinity. This would 0 out. I have natural log 1. That's equal to 0. I would have 0 times infinity. And now I can easily evaluate this because I know I'm going the right step. I have to evaluate this by means of a derivative. I'm pushing this aside for a while. Apply this in terms of a derivative. Here's one function. Here's another function. I'm splitting a function into two separate functions. Do the derivative of one item. n is your variable right here. Natural log 1 plus a over n. And then do the derivative of the reciprocal of your other function. d over dn, which is your variable. 1 over n. The variable here is n. You're doing the derivative of that. You're going to run this through your derivative procedures, and I'll breeze through it, and let's see what happens. We'll have 1 over u come over here by means of a substitution, where u was equal to 1 plus a over n. I'm doing the chain rule over here. Times the derivative of this, which will be what? It'll be minus a over n squared. Remember, I'm skipping steps over here, but we're coming here to this end result here. The derivative of this would be minus 1 over n squared. Now you flip things around and resubstitute your u. I'll have 1 over u, which is 1 plus a over n. And look over here, the minuses cancel out, the denominator and squares cancel out. I'll have here a. All of this was equal to your original natural log y. Now you're looking here at this in terms of a limit as n approaches infinity. And now you zero this out, you're left only with a. Natural log y is equal to a solve for y. y is equal to e to the power of a. That tells me 1 to the power of infinity will evaluate 2 e to the power of a, whatever that is. Your answer may differ accordingly, but it will always be equal to e to the power of some constant.